Hi guys, so in today's video we're going to do a little bit of keyword research. Research, I suppose. So this is 2025, it's the year of me doing better at KDP. And if I learn something, you're going to learn it too. So I've found two keyword research tools, which I've not used before. I've just signed up for them. We'll see what they're like. They are both related. This is ASIN Seed and then also Seller Sprite. These are the two bits of software that we're going to try and use. The first one's ASIN Seed. A free Amazon keyword tool and a reverse ASIN lookup. So what I'm going to do is, it says here you can enter keywords or ASINs. We'll try a keyword first. We'll try colour and book. Because that is what people are wanting at the minute. It's a very, very popular niche. It's not really a niche, is it? It's a very, very popular category of book. These are the niches that we're going to find out as we head down this list. So there are 1,000 results found. Export to view the data after 100 results. So I'll do that right now, but we'll continue to scroll down this list. There's also a Chrome extension, which I'm sure will come in handy, but I need to look it up first to see what it does. So we'll just scroll through. So colour and book, top keyword, six and a half hundred thousand. <laughs> That's a funny way to say it. Six and a half hundred thousand searches and nearly 95,000 products. And I'll just hover over these so you can read them yourself. Perfect. I hope you got all of that. So the keywords that are coming up are colour and book, adult colour and book. And you can also search the keywords on Amazon just by clicking this little bit here. I'm not going to uh, click it on colour and books because that's boring. I want to find something more interesting. Adult colour and books. This is interesting. This Coco Wayu, Wayu. I've only heard of it recently through other YouTube videos. Quite big in the cosy colouring scene and apparently uh, YouTuber Marina. She's mentioned that they've been trying to apply for some trademarks and things like that. So that's something to keep an eye on certainly. But don't take my word for it. Look at Marina Art. Uh, she'll keep you right. Brilliant YouTuber. So now we're getting into things a little bit more specific. Adult current book for women. Again, looking at the date, there's still loads of searches for these. And I think these searches are for month for them for a month, the previous month. So you can see the trend is going up. Coloured pencils, I can't supply with those. Bubble goods, some of these sound like brands. Cozy friends, again. Another niche in the colouring book market are these cosy colouring books. Uh, cosy Friends might be a brand, it might not be. Again, there's another brand trying to trademark things. Cosy Pals. Christmas colouring book, too late for that. But start on them now because quarter four will be around before you know it. Girl Moments, Bold and Easy. I'm going to search that one in Amazon. So this is it. I'm going to let Titans Quick View load up as well because that'll tell us a niche score and things like that. So that, that'll be interesting, won't it? But in the meantime, we'll just scroll through some of these images. I've got that many different add-ons. I don't know I don't know what does what, and I don't know what they mean. Because I've, I've stepped away from KDP for... If you've been watching my videos, you know January to March is my KDP productive period. I'm a YouTube productive period the rest of the year is absolutely nothing apart from a brief spell in august for planners and december for planners so these are some of the examples that are coming up and the look uh some of them look fairly popular Thirty-five thousand. what happens if i hang on no so this one here has got 184 reviews the bsr of thirty-five and a half thousand. again we can take this information so I'm putting this BSR calculator and find out how many units they're selling. And it's a book. So they're selling roughly 125 units per month, 8 a day. And from the price, and it's $6.99, they're probably making $152 profit per book. 
There you go. So with the information I've just input to the calculator, they're making a dollar twenty-two per book. They're selling one hundred and twenty dollars, uh, one hundred and twenty books a month. Get your calculators out and work out how much that is. Let us know in the comments. And if you look on the back, it is just bold and simple coloring book designs. So we can certainly make that in KDP. Wow, look at that. Look at that. We've just found 72 in books. That is ridiculous. That's out of all the books that have been published at the minute. This comfy pattern colouring book is getting... It's just 72. I'm going to put this into my KDP calculator. So according to this, if this is accurate, it's selling 11,700 books a month. Now the BSR is very fluid. It changes probably hourly. But if it was to be 72 a BSR for the month, it'll sell over 11,500 copies of the book. Daily sales, it must have sold 781 to get that rank. It is by Coco Wayu. And look at that, that is... It's a simple idea. And obviously the brand is... It's the current brand for colouring books. So of course it's worth saying, I don't know if this is made through KDP. It might be, it might not be. There's nothing to indicate one way or the other. But what I have noticed is that there's 52 images... 110 pages so they're obviously just printing on one side of the page leading me to believe that the paper quality is terrible because the ink sinks straight through it same as kdp so on that although they do a spiral bound as well so we'll just pretend that they've made this in kdp and we'll see what they will be making they'll be making one dollar 92 cents per book sold and they're selling eleven and a half thousand of them that's not bad. Bold and whatever it was. Bold and easy colouring book seems to be popular. Let's see what Titans has to say about it. Niche score of 58. They say 60 is a good score to you. So 58. I'm counting that as a win. Not bad. That research tool works. So when you think, just going back to the ASIN seed, 76,856 searches for the term. How accurate these are, I don't know in a month and that company there sold 11,000 in a month so uh, does that mean anything I don't know reverse colouring book again look it's on the incline check out my vids I've just done two on how you can make reverse colouring books one is free completely free Leonardo and it makes perfect um, perfect images for those sort of books I shouldn't have told you what the, what it was I should have just let you watch the video I'll link to them both below anyway we have an anatomy colouring book stress relief colouring book there's Coco Wayu Taylor Swift so there's a lot of different ideas here obviously some of them brand names you stay away from things like that but do your research but from so just from typing in colouring books into this research tool, we've got um, uh, valuable information, I think. I would never have thought of bold and easy. Unless I was describing myself. So now what I'm going to do is, is I've got the, the ASIN from that pattern colouring book from Cocker Wild, And I'm going to pop it into the search bar because it's a reverse ASIN as well. So let's see what comes up when I do that. So these are the keywords that pop up when you put in this reverse ASIN. These are the keywords that apparently that book is ranking for. And if you can see there, there's what weight means. And obviously feel free to read it, but it's just basically it's how much of the traffic that this particular word brings to that, um, to that ASIN. So of course the brand name is shown. That's when you know you've made it, when people search your brand name. And there we go, bold and easy colouring book, which is the search term that got us there in the first place, comes up and it's four out of five. 
which is spectacular. And again, you can search search from uh, from here as well. This is great. I'm going to download this as well. I'm going to export export to view the data after 100 results. So that must that must be 100 results. Let's press export. So when you export the files, this is what you get. Some key. This is the key. This is from the uh, reverse ASIN in this one, as it tells you there. You get f f five um, keywords there, and then there's another sheet here, unique words. And this tells you the frequency of the words. I don't know what it shows you, actually. Let's see if it tells you. Ah, so so that folder, that file there, was the unique words. It's just these ones here. Tells you how popular they were in the search terms. You know what I mean? So that isn't... That's not bad information. And then the other file I downloaded, this was from the Colour and Book page, rather than the ASIN. And again, we've got unique words. And there they are there. The brand name is even shown up there. So this information is useful, but I do prefer looking at it on that screen. So I am very, very I'm pleasantly surprised with the information there. That was great. So comfy patterns, big and bold and easy. They're, they're the ones you want to uh, start making. So the next thing is... So the next one is Seller Sprite, and it must be linked to ASIN because they were advertised on the same website. I'm not imagining the information to be much different, but let's find out. So we'll try keyword mining first. I haven't looked through any of the documentation for this, by the way, so I don't know what um, what what will happen. There's a tutorial there, but I ain't watching no tutorials. So keyword mining is mainly used to recommend related keywords based on the root of certain words such as mat comes from real bias search behavior and there's a user guide so i'm going to go for well i'll do color and book again first and we've got a lot of information here to um, filter things out by but we're just going to have a look around here so here are the search terms the keyword phrases down the left hand side these are the products and uh, I'm going to pick the top 10 so the category that they're showing the trends relevancy again I'll just hover over them you can read them all who needs that tutorial video so monthly search volume monthly purchase title density what is that the number of products whose title contains the keyword and the products that is great so loads of information on this page including uh, price per click and things like that so we'll just scroll down slowly and you might see some books that you recognize cozy friends by Koku Wayo someone as I mentioned tried to trademark cozy pals could be the same people might not be so the foreign language uh, is very good to include in your keywords your, your keyword back end coloring book for women coloring books adults comorine books again spelling mistakes that's not a mistake that's good old British spelling right there so the keyword miner, uh, you get a lot of keywords. Let's find, uh, let's try something else. Let's try that bold and easy colour and book in here. See if that helps narrow things down. Bold and easy colour and book. So we'll see if that adds any more information to what we've already gathered. First thing I'm noticing is it's a lot more expensive pay per click. And there are lots of search terms for them. 
a lot of monthly searches. And let's just check the top 10 products. So Koku Wayu. You see, now this is the... Well, it's not odd. But it tells you what happens. Koku Wayu there. You can see the rest of the top 10 are almost identical. That one's by the same author. But let's open some of these similar looking books up and we'll see who they buy. So here we have the brand leader in these sort of books. Koku Wayu. Um, made 150 grand and if we look down here this is another add-on self-publishing titans it looks like it was published I've clicked all time it looks like it was published sometime in May last year and these are the lookalikes So this is one by Jeanette Veronica, made in September last year. And again, I'll just click on all time just to see how accurate. Yep, so made in September. So this came after, but it is Christmas themed, so I'm not surprised. Here's another very similar one by uh, Edda, Edda Liz Publishing. Um, made just in December. So it made less than a month ago and it's already made $60 which might not seem a lot but if you've got 10 books doing this or more because this this is one of 15 you're making coin another one by Jeanette Veronica this one looks autumnal so when was this out this was out in June 24 and again she's made £30,000 from it and it's just very very simple images that you can make in KDP you've just got to have that idea and the keywords and you can, thanks to this. And there's another one. A third person, Miller Ray. This was made in October 24. And it's just very, very similar. Not loads of sales, but still $50, $50 for just whacking a load of cakes on a, on a page. So I think I know what my next colouring book's going to be, next and first. So I've had a look through some of these other options, and it's great for keyword research. The rest of it is a bit more complicated. I will have to watch the videos, despite my bravado. But it's great. That's two free keyword research tools, Seller Sprite and Ace and Seed, both linked. And if you want, you want my bit of advice, get on board the bold and easy colour and book train. Right, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.